I've used some cardboard to create a pattern for mud flaps for this Jeep. Putting mud flaps on a Jeep just isn't natural, but unfortunately it's necessary. See, now we live in a state that you have to get a safety inspection every year. The state of Massachusetts has been tr cracking down on fender flares and mud flaps, especially for Jeeps. Even though there's an exception in the G Massachusetts general law that gives an exemption for vehicles that are made to go off-road. A couple weeks ago, you watched me build these fender flares out of some ABS plastic. And I'm gonna take that pattern that I made for the mud flap and I'm gonna to try to make mud flaps out of that same plastic. Now I know there's a lot of eye rolling going on right now because I'm putting mud flaps on this Jeep, but let's face it, everything comes up, it goes right up the side of the Jeep. And uh, every time you get in and out, you get covered in mud. And so there is some practical purposes for the mud flaps, but it just goes against everything that's Jeep. Okay, when you look at my cardboard template, you'll see it's nothing special. It's pretty much just a square piece of plastic with a cutout, and then we're gonna bend this over, and, and this is where we're gonna mount the mud flap. Pretty simple. Okay, like I said, nothing too fancy. We gotta cut out this square. We're gonna bend this piece up. We're probably gonna have to heat it up to bend it. I'm gonna go ahead and get this cut out. We're not gonna be able to bend this and it's while it's cold, we're gonna to have to heat it up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clamp it to the top of the workbench here, and then we're gonna heat it up with the heat gun and just bend it up a little bit. Should work pretty good. Okay, there's our masterpiece. One custom made mud flap for an old Jeep Wrangler. <laughs> Don't look terrible, I guess. Here's the final rendition. I've only got them clamped on there right now. We'll get them screwed on in a minute, but when I bolt them on, they're going to kind of come back a little bit, and then I can always bend them more with some heat. Okay, we're going to put those on with some tech screws so we can take them on and off when we got to go get an inspection sticker and I got to come up with some type of a mud flap for the back. I got to go get some steel. We're going to bend up a bracket and just going to use whatever's left over from that uh, black ABS plastic and make up some rear mud flaps. But the front ones are done. So in the next video, we'll do the rear ones. Thanks for watching.